Good morning guys, this is Melissa from Amethyst Food Forest and I want to share some great advice for you that you could use in the fall time in your garden. If you have a lot of giant trees on your property or around your home, well, then you have access to a free resource. See all these leaves over here? All these leaves can be used as mulch. You're gonna need a rake for this. And a buggy or a wheelbarrow to bring your leaves to the garden. Now, if you're on a budget, you can actually just pile the leaves on a tarp and drag that around. Um, I'm gonna be using my buggy right here filling it up and I'll be going back and forth to my leaf pile and to my garden just piling it up on top. I find that the best part of using leaves as mulch is that you not only mulch your garden but you clean up your whole entire backyard of leaves and litter. So you can compact down these leaves quite a bit. You will be surprised at how much you can fit in there. I got one of many cartloads to fill, but I'm slowly clearing up the garden. So let me show you the added benefits of using leaves as mulch. I have here a bed that we heavily mulched with leaves in the springtime. This bed had thick grass that you see over there. And we didn't throw any landscape fabric. Let me show you what's underneath. These leaves have decomposed quite a lot and we have heavy clay soil, red Tennessee clay soil. And we laid this down about a foot thick in leaves and look what is under here, soft fluffy soil. Now when the leaves break down they create something called leaf mold which is really fluffy very similar to uh, peat moss. Another thing that you can do with your leaves is throw it in your compost bin. Over time it'll break down and create leaf mold in the compost bin instead of in the garden in the ground. You can use almost all kinds of tree leaves. Just be careful that you don't use the black walnut tree. It contains a special compound that will inhibit plant growth. But right here I have some oak trees that make acorns. This will be perfect for what I'm doing today. I started mulching my fruit trees. And when you mulch your garden with leaves, just make sure to add about six inches to 12 inches of leaves. And then you're going to crunch it down so the wind doesn't take it. All right. Got part of my fruit orchard done. Still have a couple more trees down there to do, but I think it is break time. I haven't seen my chickens all morning since I let them out, so I'm gonna take a look around the farm, see if I can find them. Well, they're not in our barn. By the way, we got some future projects coming up for our barn, maybe sometime after New Year's hiding spots in the front where the pine trees are. Let me see if they're there. Found them. Hey girls. 
You like your hiding spot? Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you were able to pick up a couple garden tips and just enjoy the chill ride with me on the farm today. <laughs>